um you know you know you've worked on games master so I've, i feel that we have to talk about it. The, the dave perry incident um it, it, we've Indeed. talked to, we've talked to dave about it and we, we've mm listen to his side of the story and you probably get asked about this a lot but you, you know what 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 can you tell us about that day and and how it all, all came about there's some things i won't say because dave's a good friend or always was and i, I really liked dave uh, i haven't spoken to him as much but we have chatted on facebook occasionally but um you know if you're listening dave i certainly would you know be more than happy to have more conversations in the future because i genuinely really like dave um and i really like dominic so, you know, I'm kind of, I was kind of stuck in the middle um, with me and Kirk. Kirk's obviously an old friend of Dominic, so slightly with more. But I felt a little bit stuck in the middle. But what I will say is that um, by, th by the point the show even started, Kirk and I had been sitting around for hours. I mean, genuinely hours. And Derek, but Derek would smile for anything. Derek would just sit there and go, all right, yeah, okay, that's fine. <laughs> so, um, so, so by the point that the show started, I was not Dave's best fan anyway, purely because there was all that going on behind the scenes, which was between him and the Games Master crew, right? That's nothing to do with me. It was to do with me. I wasn't getting on anybody's side on that one. Um, that, was, that was their problem. But because it meant that the show was being more and more delayed. I mean, it was about five hours. I, I was sat in the gr green room for about five hours. And uh, because we were waiting for so long, I wasn't, I, you know, the, the mood was very flat by the time we got on that thing. The only thing that helped me and Kirk was champagne. <laughs> they had bought some champagne because it was the last show of the whole series mm. to be filmed. It wasn't the last show to be shown. It was the last show we should film. They had champagne for afterwards. But because it kept going on and on, me and Kirk just cracked it open. <laughs> and uh, and we're drinking champagne to get us a bit giddier. And by God, if we hadn't, that would have been the flattest comedy special we've mm. ever have seen. Because everybody was in a bit of a mood by that point. Um, but the other thing I will say is that because we had an awful lot of hours between getting there and when we finally started rolling the cameras, Kirk had a lot of time playing Mario 64. A lot. Yeah. He had a lot mm -hmm. of practice. Now, Kirk, now, the one thing I will say is that Dave always complained that because Kirk was play, uh, was uh, researching at the time for Earthworm Jim 3D, an awful game. Shame <laughs> on <you>. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> He had played a lot of the game anyway. I'd played a lot of Mario 64. I didn't work on Mario 3G. You know, I, I, in fact, at that time, I was a journalist just like Dave. I was working on PC Review at the time. And um, and uh, Derek had played it, even though he only worked in arcades. So it wasn't like nobody had played it. And if Dave had been there, he would have got ample enough time to have practised, I think, before the show. Um, also, there was no guarantee Dave was going to win. If he thinks it was a stitch-up, it was literally, I, I think I was only a point behind him by the end of that show, right? There was no guarantees he was going to win it. So it could have been me and Kirk, and Kirk would have beaten me. Or it could have been Derek and me, and De you know, or me and Dave, and Dave would have probably beaten me. So, you know, those that's, that's where I'll go with that, is that ultimately I, it, I know for a fact it wasn't a stitch up because I was there. Yeah. and i'd seen it all happen all day and i knew exactly what's happening um yes it may have been a little unfair because kirk had more prior knowledge of the game than dave did but it didn't mean that dave wouldn't have had ample opportunity to practice that level mm -hmm. Mm. you know and and also a lot of the questions in that show were good for dave no, no, nobody else on that show knew an awful lot about Street Fighter like Dave did. But you know, we didn't there's, sit there's, there's like a few, stitch up. Yeah, there's a few jokey bits in there as well, isn't there? If you look at the the quiz section, I think one of his questions is like, "Oh, what happens in this clip?" There's like, there's a bit where Sonic the Hedgehog's just about to fight a robot. It's like, "Oh, robot!" It comes down and Sonic fights him, and it cuts away to something completely random. Yeah, uh, and there's a few other bits. I think when people watch that clip and i certainly thought this as well before we spoke to him i think a lot of people think his reaction is purely for failing that challenge at the end 
and speak to him i think he felt sort of wound up throughout the whole show not just that one bit at the end and unfortunately now a lot of people just know that clip really well don't they? It's like yeah. as you know the, yeah. the, the mario 64 incident and you know at the end of the day he hasn't fallen off the slide on mario 64 in their first go um mm -hmm. you know it, it's I, yeah it's not the uh the biggest deal is it falling and, off of the slide and the, i think it's the, more the, the, is. the background to it Hey, uh, and to be honest, I think that was a buzz around, by the way, with the Sonic, what happens next? So yeah. I, it wasn't that it wasn't that he got given that question. I think yeah. it was a buzz around at that point. Uh, okay, so anyone could have had that. that. Question. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And the idea yeah. behind the show was not meant to be serious. Now, I yeah. get, I absolutely get Dave's point on this. Right? At that time, I was working on a magazine, but I was also known as being a comedy pirate. <laughs> right? Dave, Derek Lynch was ju just laughed Whoa. at everything. And Kirk was just an idiot in a in a suit, right? He, that was his role. That was his role was to play Dominic's stooge, right? So the only one that stood to lose any credibility whatsoever from the show when it comes to video games questions was Dave, mm -hmm. because he had built himself up as a serious gaming journalist. So I get, I totally get why he was upset. I totally get his side of things. However, his, the way he went about it, I thought was wrong. But then that said, if he hadn't gone about it like that, it wouldn't have given us. Well, wouldn't, I wouldn't be talking about it twenty five odd years later. Mm, yeah, yeah. You know, it, yeah. that ending was one of the best endings to a TV show ever. Yeah, yeah. Where he just said, "I've been completely stitched up." And on that bombshell, mm. it, was brilliant. it was it ended way better than we could have written. So, you know, Dave, in many ways, I know it's hard to be proud of it, but Dave should also be proud of that episode. Yeah. Mm. Because it's yeah. it's mm. the episode I get asked about more often than any other. And and yeah. when we had Dave on, um, we made a point that doesn't define his career, what yeah. he's done in the oh, industry. No. Without a of a doubt. You know, he 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 I I mentioned at work I just to someone I said oh Dave Perry and they were like oh the guy in the bandana from Games Master you know and like everyone yeah. knows without it. a shadow of a doubt yeah. yeah nobody thinks any less of him because of that episode apart no. from probably the people that were there that day the uh, you know his his reputation didn't go down I knew I I carried on chatting with Dave for many years later he then came back as a commentator on my reboot of games world which i did for sky every single day at 7 30 in the morning <laughs> but, um but he came back as co-commentator for that after that incident so you know and and i was more than happy to bring him back and not only that is then when he was the chief uh, editor-in-chief of a load of video games magazines at down in bournemouth i used to go to his parties i used to you know we, we remained friends and there was and not one person ever would ever go oh there's that dave perry he can't handle mario or <laughs> 64 it was always dave perry the journalist or dave perry the games player or dave perry the games animal mm -hmm. yeah yeah so he shouldn't have worried he, i think it got to him way more than perhaps it should have yeah and he definitely. overreacted definitely yeah. and, and like i say he's a great guy dave when we yeah. spoke to him he, he really opened up about the subject um you, i you hope know, he's watching because i really need a new tattoo <laughs> and he um on facebook he always when he got uh when he gets free slots on his tattoo thing he always puts an advert or uh, a status up saying i've got a free slot this saturday come on down so yeah yeah it's just yeah. it's in bournemouth that's the only problem yeah uh, so it's a bit, a bit far from talky okay yeah i'm talking now yeah sorry talky mm. pretty much equal cool distance yeah equal distance yeah. but but you know uh, if I was to get a new tattoo, I would actually genuinely want Dave to do it because we yeah. could chat about old times and, uh, and 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 in an inking party. <laughs> yeah. I, I think you should you should yeah. do it and, and maybe maybe <laughs> get to tattoo the Mario sixty four logo on my arm. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> or, or Mario coming off of a slide. <laughs> oh, I, I do like the the uh, yeah the Mario thing on his dartboard, didn't he? In yeah, the background, yeah. It was like, yeah. Okay. At least he's got a sense of humor about it. He could have yeah, a yeah. Mario oh, on totally. the dartboard. And also, time heals all. Time yeah, heals yeah. all. We've all we've all had things. I've had things in other shows where I've not been happy about, but you know, we all move on.